everyone welcome to kalastal in this video we'll see how to download install and work with python first of all go to web browser and search with python.org or google with python.org select the first web link this website serves as a rich platform that not only provides the tools necessary for learning and using python but also fosters a global community that contributes uh, to the ongoing growth and success of the popular programming language. So let me select downloads option. You can see all the latest and uh, you know the previous releases of the Python language. This website offers downloads tailored to different operating systems. Things to consider version compatibility. Make sure that the version you download is compatible with the libraries and framework you plan to use. For instance, some packages may not yet be compatible with the newest Python release. The next thing is 32-bit versus 64-bit. Choose the correct architecture based on your OS you use. Most modern systems are, you know, 64-bit, but if you are running on an older machines, you need a 32-bit version. Now, let me download Python by based on my device operating system that is Windows. Here you can see latest versions like 3.12, 3.11, 3.10 1, and so on. You can select whichever you need after you download, install the exe file to your device. Just follow in step by step procedure and you will get your uh, setup success. I downloaded already to my device. Let me open the Python. You search in the toolbar by giving text I D L E or Python. Well, the Python interface look like this. How I'm showing in the uh, screen right now. You can see three greater symbol where the programmer start giving prompt. Do not worry about the syntax. We'll discuss in the further classes. Simply to show a message uh, to the user, use print function and give a message inside the quotation. If you see something like this or the output, then your setup and installation is working properly. While this interface is a shell mode where you can work with a single line of code and cannot save the coding for the future reference. Well, to save the code for future, open new file or shortcut key is control plus N. This is script mode where you can give more number of lines to check and save. Well, the output for this you can see in the shell mode. Once you open the new file as usual, you can see the file name with untitled. Now let me give a simple message that is print function. So inside the quotation, let me give some uh, text that is hello everyone. Now to save the file for the first time, you save as or else you can use save option. So the dialog box get open where you can give the file name and say and automatically it saves a file and with the extension called .py. So you can see the output in a shell mode. So that's it for today. Thank you.